If you've made it a priority to point out authoritarianism on the left, which there's plenty of, then it would seem to me that it would also be important to you to point out authoritarianism that comes from the right. Christian nationalism is extreme authoritarianism. It's all about being in control of the prevailing moral narrative in society and codifying it into law. Over the past decade or so, there have been a number of alternative moral narratives that are so incompatible with traditional Christian moral narratives that conflict is pretty much guaranteed any time they share the same space. I think we're starting to find that multiculturalism doesn't actually work. There has to be a certain amount of cultural assimilation. I didn't want to face that fact for a long time. This doesn't mean I think Christian nationalism would be a good thing. I don't think theocracies are a good thing. I don't think basing our laws off of superstitions is a good thing. But unfortunately, I don't know of another force right now that's properly ready to fill a void that has been created in Western countries over the past decade or so. When the things people are supposed to be focusing on are constantly changing, where people are constantly having to reinvent their view of reality and keep up with the latest social narratives and keep track of all the new labels and what they mean and all the new neo-pronouns and make fluid so many things that used to be solid. Yeah, with all that, it becomes difficult for a lot of people to function. We can't have a social fabric that's in a constant state of massive flux. Yes, it's fluid, but it's more like glass than water. Sure, if you heat it up enough, you can get it to bend more quickly. But you can break it if you're not careful. And if you heat it up too much without care, it can get pretty messy. The people who think our social fabric should be like water are crazy as far as I'm concerned. Our society will never be that fluid. Never. And unfortunately, as a result, as a reaction to all of this, Christian nationalism seems to be the direction we're going to be headed. No, it's not going to be as bad as the Middle East. We're not going to have capital punishment for a whole slew of harmless behaviors. We're not going to throw gay people off buildings. We're not going to take away women's right to drive and vote. We're not going to legalize beating our wives. It's not going to be a handmaid's tale. But it will be a lot more like this country was in the 1950s. That seems to be some of their goal. They'll probably find some way to have religious freedom bypass the Civil Rights Act since 1964, where people can freely discriminate against anything they want as long as they can cite religion as the reason why they're discriminating. Public school teachers will be able to freely cram their religion you know, long, as long as it's Bible-based, down the throats of all the kids. Teacher-led prayer will be back in schools. And, you know, things like intelligent design will be required teaching, you know, to, to be a counter to evolutionary theory. A lot of the things that activist teachers have been teaching over the past several years would no longer be permitted. The only kind of activism that teachers would be able to have would be that which comes from biblical roots. The DSM-6 will likely have a very different take on homosexuality and gender dysphoria than the DSM-5 did or does. I think a lot of decent and innocent people would be put in insane asylums. People who previously had a chance of being decent, productive members of society. But because they fit a particular profile, they're to be separated from society. It's not death camps, but it's pretty nasty. The goal, of course, is to have a strict, structured society, like the kind of romanticized version of the 1950s. They won't meet those goals, they'll just create misery. But you know, it's only Christian nationalism. It's nothing to worry about, right? Have a joy, joy day!